A two-way street. When you hear that something is a two-way street, this means that it's a reciprocal situation. Both parties must put in equal effort, or that you yourself must live up to the expectations you set for others. Of course, I'll help you move. You helped me last year, and friendship is a two-way street, after all. You might reply to your friend. Maybe you're helping your young child. Hey, I'm helping you build this sandcastle. You've got to help too. Teamwork is a two-way street. If you want me to keep the bathroom clean, you've got to keep the kitchen clean. It's a two-way street, you know. Your partner might be nagging you. As you can tell, if something is a two-way street, then what goes around comes around. Many hands make light work. It's give and take. And... Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You can describe many relationships as two-way streets, meaning that those involved must work together, such as friendship, a family, a team, a company or other organization, etc. The idiom, a two-way street, is simply a metaphor for a type of street on which vehicles can travel in both directions, as opposed to a one-way street. A two-way street gained popularity as an idiom in the 1950s or 60s and is an easy metaphor to picture things that Go both ways. Socially speaking, we feel the need to return a favor or treat another as they have treated us, known as the rule of reciprocity. You probably adhere to the rule of reciprocity without thinking much about it, and though it is a useful social norm, it can be used with either good or bad intentions. You might be nice to someone who isn't nice to others, triggering in them a feeling of obligation to be nice. Or a salesperson might offer you something free in order to get you to make a large purchase. In a situation when someone isn't reciprocating, telling them that it's a two-way street is an effective method to get them to adhere to this social norm. You should wash the dishes since I cooked. It's a two-way street. You might tell your roommate who needs constant reminding to pitch in. Perhaps your cousin gives you piano lessons twice a week. Learning is a two-way street. You must practice on your own every day. Parenting is a two-way street. If you don't want the kids to use their mobile phones at the dinner table, you can't either. Your mom might be telling you to set an example. So, the next time you encounter a situation in which the other person is not putting effort into the relationship, is not pulling their weight, 
or is not setting a good example, just remind them that it's a two-way street.